Hello, hello everyone. <coughs> I, am, I am excited to be here. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> I am TM Forum architect and uh, responsible for autonomous networks and ODA production transformation projects. <coughs> and today I would like to talk about uh, autonomous networks and uh, TM Forum Open API um, because it's a part of the project which might be interesting <coughs> on today's event. And uh, before, uh, I also was lucky to work with the different standard development organizations and also <coughs> contributed to Etsy, NFE, the DSM, and uh, other communities from the vendor perspective and from the integrator. Mm. So uh, uh, regarding autonomous networks, so we started this project about um, five years ago. And currently we have more than uh, 60 members uh, from operators, uh, from vendors uh, who participate actively and they contribute uh, to specifications as well as take part in the Catalyst projects and other activities. So uh, autonomous networks, it's a really large project and uh, under this umbrella we have um, a few technical streams. So first of all, um, I would like to pay attention to autonomous network framework, uh, which covers uh, all aspects of uh, architecture and as well as uh, intent ontology development. Um, uh, also, uh, we work here on key effectiveness indicators and uh, basically all uh, new projects uh, which we uh, consider and just to having some additional stream. So we discussed um, uh, under this uh, direction. Um, also, we have a project about autonomous networks levels um, where we work on the methodology and um, uh, some pilot projects dedicated for evaluation of uh, autonomous network levels uh, because currently uh, we have um, many questions from operators uh, just to realize uh, their uh, level of autonomy, right? And basically <coughs> uh, ju just to better understand how they can uh, reach uh, another level of autonomy. So it's all about uh, autonomous network level projects. And uh, we also have a stream dedicated for Gen and I, uh, where we discussed about use cases, terminology, and also uh, um, all other implementation things. Um, as well, uh, we started a new stream dedicated for uh, self-X uh, capabilities, um, where we are focusing on self-healing domains and scenarios uh, dedicated for closed loop uh, and um, other activities. So I would say that currently we have uh, significant demand for um, from from operators uh, yeah, who would like to first of all realize level of autonomy and just to better understand how they can uh, reach uh, next level. Uh, so uh, that's why uh, we are focusing not only on the technical aspects, but also we are focusing on the overall strategy uh, just to facilitate this transformation. And um, we have uh, everything from the effectiveness indicators uh, just to evaluate benefits uh, of some uh, particular autonomy uh, transformation. Uh, we have a taxonomy where we have uh, five levels uh, from zero uh, till five where we have uh, full autonomy. Uh, and definitely we have uh, scenarios and uh, architecture patterns uh, how to uh, support this uh, transformation. Uh, but definitely the key point is the reference architecture. Uh, which is consisting of uh, three layers. As you may see on this diagram, so we have a business service layer and we have a resource layer consisting of uh, autonomous domains. So uh, I, I would say that autonomous domains is a key uh, topic here. Uh, 
because uh, it's definitely uh, smart domains which uh, have uh, AI closed loop capabilities. Uh, they have uh, intent handlers. And um, you know, basically, in the real life, uh, it might be examples from the modern controllers and orchestrators, for example, for SD1, for uh, RAM controllers. And uh, in TM forum, so we follow on uh, single domain scenarios and um, as well as uh, multi domain scenarios. So, which is more complicated, but at the same time interested because in this case, uh, we have involvement of the service layer, right? And, uh, and so uh, we collect the scenarios and discuss with the members and also deep dive into implementation aspects. So as you may see, uh, these domains exposed uh, reference points and uh, we are focusing in this case on uh, intent-driven um, automation and uh, follow uh, intent-driven uh, patterns. Uh, so as I mentioned, for intent, we have a dedicated stream um, where we uh, specified um, architecture concepts for business and for service intent. Uh, we already released uh, operational intent API, it's TMF921. And also we work with uh, additional uh, intent capabilities for existing TM Forum Open APIs uh, with a focus on uh, service intent. Uh, but the key part of this project is development of intent ontologies, uh, which we create together with members and uh, we keep them in uh, JSON LD format, which are also published in our Confluence resources. And we consider uh, closed loop scenarios, right? Because if you want to express intent, uh, it might be different scenarios when we have <coughs> uh, some alarms or performance degradation. But anyway, we have to uh, fulfill this intent. And that's why uh, closed loop, it's quite important in case of uh, intent implementation. So here is the list uh, of our uh, intent ontologies. Uh, which we have, so you may see that we have common models. So it's uh, vocabularies with requirements and KPIs, right? Uh, but at the same time, we work on extensions. Extensions, first of all, for some uh, technology-specific domains, which are driven by other SDOs, and our intention to be uh, uh, to have integrity with other communities, and for example, uh, we have extensions for 3GPP, right? And so we specified uh, a few connectors. Um, we also work with other communities and basically explain uh, what we are doing. So for these purposes, we have a stream. It's called multi-SDO under autonomous networks uh, where we collaborate with Etsy, BBF, ITF, and other communities and just to uh, present um, what we are doing here, right? And so uh, basically all these uh, ontologies are available in our confluence and we also plan to make them, them uh, open for members. Uh, another topic it's, uh, which is uh, very important, it's AI in autonomous networks because it's one of the key enablers. And uh, here we specified uh, several key functions. Uh, so, for example, uh, self-healing mechanism, uh, resource optimization, uh, solution finding, uh, predictive analysis. Uh, but uh, I would like to focus more not uh, AI, but more about generative AI, uh, because I would say we faced with many questions from operators, um, um, what potential scenarios might be interesting, and uh, I think at the beginning of this year, we started a work stream where we started to discuss terminology, uh, scenarios, right, uh, where it's possible to implement uh, foundation models, LLMs, SLMs. And currently we have a few work items uh, where we have example for network design, uh, service delivery, uh, billing and revenue management, and uh, currently we work on the details of these use cases 
and it's uh, basically uh, experience from operators and vendors, uh, as well as experience from the TM Forum Catalyst projects. Mm, for example, we have a project dedicated for co-pilot AI agents, right, uh, which we contribute here, and definitely we are focusing on the sequence diagram uh, between uh, ODA components and um, LLMs. Uh, which should be involved into these scenarios, and uh, as well scenarios dedicated for intent handling. So uh, I would say, for example, in uh, DTW event this summer, we had many catalysts and we had um, many uh, solutions um, provided by vendors dedicated for Gemini um, intent handling, right, uh, and scenarios uh, in this area. Uh, the next uh, large project uh, in TM Forum, it's definitely TM Forum Open APIs, and uh, I assume uh, it will be very interesting for uh, members uh, of today's event. Uh, so we have uh, more than 80 TM Forum APIs, and uh, currently we are focusing on uh, Gen 5 uh, version. And um, many of these uh, APIs are already adopted in operators and vendors. Uh, so basically we have special open API dashboard where we uh, provide details about uh, certification progress, about uh, which APIs are popular and uh, basically what's going on with uh, some other activities. So you can take a look who is from vendors and operators contribute actively, um, basically who is leading a certification. So this information is available on our portal, right? And uh, which APIs has uh, significant um, demand. Um, I would like to pay attention that uh, actually uh, before uh, uh, we uh, used uh, generation four, uh, where it was uh, mostly for REST APIs, but in gen five, uh, we have REST and async APIs in the development. And uh, from the payload perspective, uh, we have universal approach and we have context specific. So it means that in version 4, uh, we had some uh, core APIs and uh, we didn't focus on details of the services and products. Uh, but in case of uh, Gen 5, uh, we focus uh, on the development uh, of this payload. And uh, for example, we have uh, progress on 5G slicing activation, um, we also have project dedicated for wholesale broadband, uh, where we also focusing on the product and service specifications, right? And uh, it gives uh, another uh, level of uh, TM Forum APIs because uh, we, we are going to get this experience. And definitely in this case, we collaborate with uh, different standard development organizations and basically operators and vendors who would like to introduce uh, their own uh, payload in these cases. Uh, so uh, th that's why we have a special uh, TM Forum API partner program uh, just to uh, support organizations who would like to work with TM Forum APIs and utilize uh, core APIs or would like to uh, design own uh, DCSs, right? And uh, on this slide, you may see a few examples of such collaboration. Uh, so the first one is um, GSMA Open Gateway, which uh, was already presented and uh, on many slides uh, today, right? So from TM Forum side, we focus on uh, Operate APIs, it's uh, OIM part, uh, so in this project. Another example, it's uh, about uh, MetroEtherNet Forum, uh, where we are focusing on uh, harmonization um, MEF APIs and uh, usage of Gen 5 
uh, with uh, MEF uh, payload dedicated for different services, for example, like uh, SD1 carrier Ethernet uh, IP services, right? So we have uh, some roadmap for this collaboration. Uh, so basically, this is a few examples, uh, but we are open for uh, new partners uh, who would like to work with uh, TM Forum Open APIs. And uh, from the perspective of uh, hands-on experience, I would like to pay attention to Catalyst, uh, where it's possible for members, operators, and vendors uh, to work together on some particular scenarios and validate how it works. Um, validate specification, but uh, also to work on some new ideas which can be further contributed to TM Forum standards. And uh, this year we also opened uh, Innovation Hub in Mumbai. Uh, we're focusing on the code assets, and currently we have projects dedicated for ODA components and Canvas as well as development tooling for TM Forum Open APIs, and potentially we can uh, deliver um, any kind of projects with focus on uh, code development. Uh, well, so uh, that is all from my side. Thank you.